Hello, everybody. Uh, Blue Saints here. We have a install tutorial for you guys today. Uh, I've been hearing a lot of, or not hearing, but seeing a lot of uh, issues happening with people crashing and stuff and not setting it up correctly and uh, a lot of stuff going on. So I figured to make a uh, tutorial about it so it's easier for people that, you know, follow a video instead of a text. Um, well, uh, I will say your prerequisites, you know, before we start that you need is going to be open IV. Uh, that's absolutely going to be a must. Uh, obviously make sure edit modes on and you have open IV, which I'm assuming, you know, you're coming here to install EUP. You definitely have open IV. So, but if not, you need open IV. Um, the second thing. Uh, in the link of the uh all the links in the description you're going to need to download. It's going to be uh, obviously his EUP pack itself, uh, the game config, pack file limit adjuster, heap adjuster, head prop limit adjuster, and the MP stub close patch. Once you guys have that installed, then um, just to make it easier, I would just put it on your desktop just like I have. I put his BCSO pack at the edge here because we're going to be installing that last once we get these prerequisites in. All right, um, let's get started. So you're going to need your GTA 5 main game directory, and we're going to get started with the. Uh, we're going to go in order here, so we'll do the game config first, then. Heap adjuster, pack file limit adjuster, and then head prop limit adjuster, and then the MP stub close patch. So your game config. Right here you're going to see GTA config version 34 for 3407. Now if you see this, do not be scared, do not be alarmed. This is going to say 3407 when we're on game version 3411, but it still works. They're the exact same thing, they still work, it's fine. So with here, when you go in here, you're going to see for less mods and for more mods. You're going to want for more mods, just in case you add more in the future. You're going to do, uh, you can see you got like traffic multipliers here for 1x traffic, 0.5x, you know, just, you know, I mean, do whatever you want, but uh, just to keep, I like to keep things kind of, you know, stock basic. Uh, we're going to do stock traffic. We're going to go down here and we're going to see gameconfig.xml. Now with me, what I like to do is drag these out and that's because uh, I've been having issues with WinRAR dragging uh, not properly going into OpenIV lately, uh, but you can if you want. So with that being said, um, we have our game config. And where you're going to go to install this is uh, mods, update, update the RPF, common, data. Under here, you're going to see your game config, and you're just going to go over here, drag and drop. Now, as you see, it worked, and you'll see the game config. So now you can delete that off your desktop, minimize, uh, make sure you minimize your OpenIV because we're going to need that later. And we're all done with the game config. Um, here we're going to do heap adjuster. Uh, with these, you don't need to extract if you don't want, because they're just going to go straight into your GTA 5 folder. Uh, so with these, um, you're going to highlight. And see this little buffer zone here? You don't want to do it here, because they're you know, they're going to go into that folder. You don't want this buffer zone here on the right. You're going to drag and drop. Now, I have it already, but for the sake of the video, I'm just going to replace it. All right, so that's all done. Delete. And now we have pack file limit adjuster. Same thing. Uh, highlight. Uh, do not include the readme. Now, I know a lot of you people just do this and then drag and drop and delete the readme, but an easier way to do this is just highlight everything, hold your left control key on the, your keyboard. You're going to hold your left control key, 
and then left click the readme. And that's just an easier way to deselect it. And then same thing, drag and drop into this little buffer zone. I'm going to replace it for the sake of the video. I'm going to delete that. And then ped prop limit adjuster. It's going to be the same thing. You want to highlight all this uh, and then hold your left control key again. And then we don't need the license or the readme. We just need this ASI. Drag and drop. Now, funny enough, I actually didn't have uh, this installed. So um, that's actually kind of funny. So, all right. Um, we're done with that. And then uh, here we go. So the MP stub closed patch. This one we're going to need OpenIV for. So minimize your GTA 5 directory for now. We're going to open up OpenIV. And we're going to see, uh, first we're going to actually install the DLC. Don't worry about the menu outfits presets. That's for a trainer. We're not going to be, we don't need that. So for this little folder here for the, the DLC, you're going to go to your mods, update, x64, DLC packs. Now I already have it, but again, for the sake of this video, I'm just going to drag and drop it. So again, buffer zone here, drag and drop. And I'm going to make sure that it was added. Yours, when you don't have it, yours is gonna appear at the bottom here. But for me, it's gonna be in the same place because same thing. Uh, so here, and we see that it was properly added. So uh, that's all good. Now keep this open because we need this meta file too. I'll go back up, back up to mods. You go to update, update.rpf, common data, and you're going to see this Gen 9 exclusive assets PEDS. Mine's not encrypted because it's already been replaced, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to do it again. So same thing, you come over here, drag and drop. All right, and that's pretty much it for this too. So now we can just delete that. And now we're on to the actual BCSO EUP. So now that you got all the prerequisites in, we're going to go to his EUP, add on. And we're not going to worry about the dependencies because we already installed all the dependencies. So don't worry about that. Um, extras, we'll get into that afterwards. Uh, so we're going to go to mods, update x64 dlc packs as you can see i already have it but for the sake of this video i'm just going to re-put it in there so same thing drag and drop it's just a little buffer zone all right now just to be sure i'm going to do it again because again i've had problems with uh, winrar and open iv not working correctly and that should be good so now we're going to go into the extras here now this, we're going to need our um, GTA directory. We're not going to worry about the ultimate backup file today because I actually have to push out a hot, uh, hot fix for this today. So uh, the time of me recording this is 2.35 p.m. on Valentine's Day. Um, any update afterwards, uh, should have the hotfix in there and I'm sure Kremit's going to put the patch notes as well that the ultimate backup file's been fixed or updated. Uh, anyways, so for your wardrobe.ini, this is basically going to be for your EUP menu. You're going to go to plugins, LSPDFR, actually sorry, not LSPDFR, uh, EUP, and see this wardrobe.ini, uh, actually before I move on to dragging and dropping this, if you have any EUP presets with any other EUP, just letting you know now, this is going to overwrite it. So if you don't want it to be overwritten, you're going to go into your current wardrobe.ini, copy all the contents inside of it, and then uh, open up a notepad and paste it in there. And then um, once you drag and drop the new one in there 
uh, you can open up the new one and then go back to your notes with the other one, for example, and then just copy and paste it and add it on to this. Uh, just a forewarning, it's going to replace it. All right, so now we're done with the wardrobe.ini, and now we're going to go back to our open IV. And we are actually done with this BCSO, so we can delete it. We're going to go back to open IV. And now we're going to uh, mess with our DLC list.xml. So we're going to go to mods, update, update the RPF, common, data. And you're going to scroll down until you see your DLC list.xml. You're going to right click, edit. Now, I already have these two added, so you're going to do exactly what I did here. These two lines, you're going to put them underneath. Uh, it may, and they are very case sensitive, so make sure they are correct. It's all lowercase bcsov2. And for the stub patch, same thing, all lowercase mp stub patch. And I can also enlarge it just to show you. All right. Also, another thing in this DLC list.xml that you are going to absolutely have to do, like there is no option, you absolutely have to do this. Do uh, hold your left control and press F. You're going to see the, uh, the find what thing, and you're going to search up G9. Now, I already removed all of them, but for you, if you have everything copied over, you're going to see that this DLC list will have highlighted um, uh, G9, uh, G9EC or G9ECNG. You're going to remove that. Uh, they need to go. Uh, they, they don't really serve any purpose, really. Uh, and we figured that it's actually easier to get rid of all the G9EC and G9ECNG DLCs um, entirely to make this more compatible and have less game crashes. So just do that, just search up G9 and it should pop up with all the G9EC and G9ECNGs and then just highlight it, delete it, and make sure you don't accidentally delete any other line. But uh, that is pretty much all there is to it. So once you delete all the G9EC or G9ECNG, lines and add these two uh you're pretty much all done um so we're just gonna close this out obviously they're inaccessible now so we're gonna close these clean up a little bit here close this up and we're gonna start the game now i'm not going to edit this video this video is purely unedited during this loading sequence just to prove to you and show you that this works. All right. Now, if you encounter any game crashes, any issues when you install the EUP, you can always go to the support channel and always ask for help with what's going on. We cannot always guarantee that, uh, you know, it's going to be an EUP issue, but uh, if your game does start crashing, when you install this EUP, then you can, you know, go in the support channel, ask us for help, and we'll try to help you out. Um, I'll also leave a link to his Discord down below, so you can go down there and, you know, get support if you need it, or uh, find any more of his uh, releases that happen in the future. I'm going to purely leave this segment unedited. So you guys can see that it works. And uh, I have spent a lot of time with this EUP. Uh, I have, I'm the one that made the wardrobe i9 and the ultimate backup config, or the ultimate backup file. Um, if there was anything that broke the game or anything that happened that would break it by any circumstances, I would not push it the you know I, I would not hand the file out to Crement if that was the case these were thoroughly tested I made sure it was thoroughly tested I've had no game crashes whatsoever so 
if you start experiencing game crashes, then uh, again, we'll try to help you out as much as we can in the Discord. Oh, this is perfect. We're in Blaine County. Okay. So as you can see, we loaded in. No issues. And we're roaming around. So for this, I'm going to make it daytime. So we can see all the outfits, make sure they work. So you're going to hit your EUP menu key, whatever you set it to. Mine's F12, but I know uh, default it's F11, I believe. You're going to go to wardrobe and you're going to see that all the outfits are here. Now the wardrobe I and I also includes female. So you have both male and female compatibility. I've made the ultimate backup configuration also for female and male. So you'll have female and male configurations in your ultimate backup as well, as well as your wardrobe that I and I. So no matter what gender you play as and no matter what it, you're good. You have UP. So here, we're going to see you got your Class A, and uh, hasn't crashed, so that's a good sign, uh, which I knew it wouldn't, but, you know, anything can happen with LSPDFR. You got your Class C, Class B Turtleneck, Class D, Class B Utility Canine, Class C Utility Canine, and I noticed that it looks kind of fuzzy. Okay, that's probably just the upscaling. Sorry, guys. Now you got your polo, uh, t-shirt, light jacket, raincoat, bomber jacket, air unit, pullover tie, pullover, police hoodie, windbreaker, undercover, and SRT. And it's all properly working. So as long as you guys followed everything correctly, uh, this is exactly what it should look for you guys. Um, now, a little warning. I probably should have included this at the beginning of the video, but if you've made it this far and you've completed it, um, any add-on EUP that you put in any more than this, uh, it might break the wardrobe I and I. So if that is the case and you put add-on EUP in and it breaks the wardrobe I and I or any add-on assets that you know has to do with clothing, all you have to do it's just go in your wardrobe, you know, you see like male class A, you know, it, some of the tops or the armor might be a little off, just you can fix it up yourself, you should be fine. That's the problem with doing add-on EUP is the wardrobe I and I, if you add more and more, it it's probably not going to stay the same. So that's just something to kind of, you know, keep in mind. So if you add... EUP or you have any other add-on EUP, this is probably not going to look the same for you. This might be a little messed up for you on your end, but you're going to have to go in and fix it because we test it without any other add-on EUP. This is all base base uh, EUP 9.3, I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, so that's just something to keep in mind. Uh, that's the only way we can kind of work around with making these tutorials. So... With that being said, uh, if it's working for you and it's all good, then congratulations, you've successfully installed the BCSO V2 EMP. Uh, if you have any issues, uh, any questions, concerns, uh, join the Discord down below, and we'll be happy to help you out. And uh, I got some LSPDFR content coming in the future, as well as some 5M content. I've been trying to get the LSPDFR content out, or try to at least. So, um, yeah, uh, that's why I've been kind of gone for a while. I've been trying to get LSPDFR going and, you know, a lot going on. So that being said, uh, should be LSPDFR content coming up soon. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.